platform economy means a lot of new business opportunities and of course more growth and jobs if we can use these opportunities. Because it means that now because of digitalization uh, we can provide totally new kind of services, new business models. The EPP group's Henna Verkunen, a member of the Industry Research and Energy Committee, on the booming online businesses that are shaking up sectors and markets around the world, making up the platform economy. At this hearing in the European Parliament, business representatives, experts and EU officials discussed the future of Europe's digital single market. Verkunen says among the world's leading platforms... There isn't a single European company in the top 20. And now we have to really look at how we can create that kind of business environment in Europe. Thus a plea from one successful European travel company based in the Netherlands. Booking.com is one of the relatively rare examples of a European tech, tech startup that has actually made it to global market leader. So the first message is it's possible to have European success stories in that field. And a second simple story is to, you know, to leave startups the room to breathe and not burden them early on with too much regulation. The Swedish-based music platform Spotify wants the EU to ensure a level playing field. I think that there is a set of principles uh, that could be that could be encapturing any legislative solution. Those principles are really clear: transparency, non-discrimination, and promote consumer choice. A recent study by the Center for Global Enterprise says among 176 platform companies surveyed around the world, more than half are in Asia. Only 27 of them are in Europe. A third of those in the UK. So how can Europe catch up? Jyrki Katainen is the European Commission's Vice President for Jobs, Growth, Investment and Competitiveness. He says to encourage more small and medium-sized businesses to get involved. Platforms also offer access to bigger markets. So, for instance, um, one uh, small company somewhere in northern Sweden which does not have an access to, to main European or global market before, uh, platforms can offer or bring it to the middle of the global market. He says that means online must play by the rules on labor and consumer regulations, but... We have to be very careful what to regulate, not over-regulate, because uh, they offer new opportunities, especially for SMEs. On innovation, Microsoft leads in market capitalization among platforms, though Germany's SAP is also among the top globally, according to the study. So how to make the EU succeed in the platform economy? MEPs will take the input from this hearing to determine what next steps to take on a European level to make that happen, to attract and keep the talent and investment needed to turn the world's largest economy into a more digital one. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.